Hello again and happy Tuesday. Here's the scene up in the big country. There are a few passing clouds, but otherwise mainly sunny across West Texas. Quite a few places still holding on to those triple digit temperatures. Big Lake at 100 even. Ozona, that relative warm spot at 101 right now. 93 in San Angelo. 81 up in Abilene. Northeastern portions of the big country are seeing some of those cooler temperatures ahead of some storms that are moving along to our east mainly impacting portions of north and central Texas but we did see a thunderstorm develop here that is now splitting off into two thunderstorms that has produced some severe thunderstorm warnings. The storm moving into portions of Colcho and McCulloch counties that has half dollar size hail and just south of that the storm impacting portions of Bernard County has been seeing reports of golf ball size hail. So if you're in any of those areas you do want to be in your severe thunderstorm safe place away from windows until from now to 6.30, that's when those warnings are set to expire. But this is looking to be a short-lived trend as the main threat for severe weather is going to be further east, impacting more of central Texas. Now, those areas that we are seeing, those thunderstorms, are under a level 2 threat. So that is just something to be mindful of as we go through the evening. If something else does develop, strong wind gusts and large hill are going to be the main hazards. But an isolated tornado can be possible, especially the closer you get to more of this orange shaded region getting closer to the Dallas and even Waco areas. Now, overnight lows looking to get into the upper 60s to lower 70s. For more of those northwestern counties could see more of the mid 60s and more of those southeastern counties could see more of the mid 70s. But nonetheless, going to see a pretty mild night with cool, clear skies and calm weather. 69 going to be the low in Abilene. 71 going to be the low here in San Angelo. And as we look towards the rest of the week, just going to be a rinse and repeat with these scorching temperatures. Looking at triple digit temperatures throughout the rest of the week with Friday being that warm day and heat index values looking to be a lot closer to the 120 degree mark than they are the 100 degree mark. So that's going to be an extremely dangerous situation over the next several days, not just for us, but for pets as well as we've talked about before at just 100 degrees and with the air, asphalt can get up to 160, concrete can get up to 175, grass 105, shaded grass 95 and just for context Paul burns can occur in five minutes at 120 degrees and they can occur in just 60 seconds at 140 degrees so try to avoid walking your pets during those peak heating hours try to leave that for early morning late evening if you have to bring them out around this time make sure you have some ways to cover their paws and keep them safe this trend looking to stick around through the next six to ten days as we're expecting above average temperatures and below average precipitation so stay with us for more because this is looking like a long stretch of those triple digit temperatures and dry conditions. Back to you, Esmeralda.